Protecting the Future of Working Families, Teamsters, 1932.org. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. Tune in for a vibrant mix of fashion, finance, and life's essential foundations. Join us for expert interviews, insightful discussions, and empowering insights to elevate your lifestyle. From fashion trends to financial tips and personal growth strategies, we've got you covered. So grab your headphones and get ready to be inspired. Tune in now to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show and embark on this exciting journey with us. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence, here on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM and 106.5 FM, where we cover over 5 million households in the greater Los Angeles. And we are also affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. You can listen to us every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific time on any of your favorite podcast and streaming channels. We are also in Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android app. Just subscribe to Building Solid Foundations channel. Once again, I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence. I am an author, an international speaker, and a coach, and my brand is The Leadership of Play. I teach children and adults what it is like to dream again, to remember their dreams and to go for them. It has been my experience that as we grow older, we forget what it is like to have the playfulness of a child and to dream and to follow, and to follow our passions. And what I do with the leadership of play is I get people to lean into their fears so that they can achieve their dreams. It has been my experience that as we grow older, we simply stop dreaming and we get comfortable in our lives. And I've got news for you. Life begins outside the comfort zone. And it's usually fear that's preventing us from reaching our goals. So if you make a list of five things that you're scared of, I assure you that your success lies at the end of going through those fears. Today on the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, we have our guest, Nancy Wright. Nancy Wright is a master certified health coach. Her work in health and wellness spans three decades, including seven plus years experience as a master certified health coach and facilitator, and facilitator trained for your diabetes, your heart talk. Nancy helps middle-aged women with type 2 diabetes reduce their blood sugar symptoms, lose weight, and improve their quality of life. When food sensitivities, weight gain, and elevated blood sugar had her napping at two in the afternoon, she became the sugar-busting fairy <laughs> by losing 30 pounds and reclaiming her health. Nancy gives hope to all middle-aged women. In her personal life, Nancy enjoys her horse addiction, chocolate doodle, her daughter, and her husband, not necessarily in that order. If you are ready to have fun, getting healthier, including eating chocolate, she can help. Welcome, Nancy Wright. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. So our show is called Building Solid Foundations. So I want to start with your story, how you came to become a certified master health coach. I mean, it's not every day somebody wakes up and says, okay, health is my deal. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Well, it all began, gosh, a very long time ago. I've been in wellness for, this is going to age me, over three decades. And I started out in animal health pharmaceutical sales where I had to learn how to read the ingredients on a dog food bag. And there were a lot of split ingredients. But fast forward, and I had my daughter in 2005. And in 2008, she was diagnosed with high-functioning autism. Oh. And it was then that I knew that food was medicine. And I thought, a lot of the kids on the spectrum, Teresa could have food adversions. And I thought, well, if I could just get her to eat something green, that would be great. And she'd scream when I'd give her green peas. And then fast forward a few years later, and I was diagnosed with leaky gut and food sensitivities. So I would always say, what the heck is in this food? And that's where a friend of mine told me about a course called the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. And he's a world-renowned pediatrician. So I knew I was in the right place. 
and I took his course, and one of the most valuable things I learned was how to read labels and what is in the label, and that there's hidden names of sugar in the label, hidden names of MSG. So that's my long story short, is my food sensitivities and gut issues, and then getting my daughter to eat better, and I'm happy to tell you she eats better than I, than I do. <laughs> Mm. And she loves kale now, believe it or not. So, no, that's a, that's a fabulous story. There are so many children with autism, and mm -hmm. I I do believe food is medicine. Mm -hmm. And so, if you were advising them on how to how to change the palate of the child mm. and and in what steps to take in order to eat in a healthier manner, what would you say? That's a very good question, and it's funny that you asked that because I'm going to start coaching kids with disabilities. There's a big, big need for it. And because I've done it myself and I have life experience and I'm starting to do it now, I'm like, oh, wow, a door opened up for me. Well, what you do is when you're coaching kids or adults, they're very rigid, most of them, and it's black or white. So you really, black or white thinking. So you really have to meet them where they're at and find out what do they like and what don't they like. And like, for example, tomorrow I, I teach nutrition at the Fallbrick Food Pantry, and there's a mother and son there, and she wants me to teach him how to eat more variety and better. It all started with just asking questions. And because I'm trained in motivational interviewing, like positive psychology, this is where the master certification comes in. It's the behavior piece. So I have to really tune into him and tune into others and find out what do you like and what don't you like. And how can we make your root vegetables, that was the case in this, this gentleman's story, how can we make this better and how can we vary it a little bit better? So to answer your question, it's really just meeting them where they're at and asking the right questions and having them kind of dive into something. Maybe we have to saute it. Maybe we have to puree it. Maybe we have to blend it. Because once your body start to, starts to recognize good foods, it starts to crave it. It starts to like it. There's a term for it, and it's called wisdom of the body. Your body knows when your feet, it's like your gut is yelling up to you saying, thank you for giving me asparagus and not a cupcake. You know, it's mm -hmm. just... It, it knows and you start to feel better. So it's, it's quite involved, but it's really about meeting them where they're at. You know, they're in the driver's seat, I'm in the passenger seat, I'm just guiding them. Isn't it interesting that both experiences in your life, your daughter's illness, your illness, brought you to exactly the place you needed so true, so true, yeah. And just to clarify, it's not an illness. It's mm. just, a, um, just a different way of thinking. Just their brains are wi we're wired, wired a little differently. Mm. But yes, my illness, my mm. leaky gut and food sensitivities. And, you know, my daughter is so mild, but I still wanted to get her to eat better. And the whole family, honestly, even the dog eats better. <laughs> it's better. So or, yeah. in your opinion, is just natural the way to go, or, or do you even recommend raw? You know, it's, it's funny. I don't get into raw because I'm not a nutritionist or a mm -hmm. dietitian. I'm, I'm a holistic health coach. The way that we're trained, and this is going to sound so darn basic, but I just say, eat the food that God made, not that man made. So if, I wish... Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that great? Yeah. I mean, I wish God would make donuts on a tree, right? We might be eating a ton of donuts, but he doesn't. You know, he makes avocados and apples mm -hmm. on trees. That's what you should be eating. The food that God made, the fish, the chicken. I mean, I don't eat fish, but I take a fish oil. <laughs> so, you know, but it's staying away from the processed food and the ultra-processed food. There, there's a talk that I do, it's called What the Food Manufacturers Don't Want You to Know. And that's a, that's a very popular talk I do. And I do hidden names of sugar, and they have to guess what's in the food, and why is it so bad, and that kind of thing. But yes, it's really simple. It's just like what our great-grandmothers eat. Just eat whole food, honestly. And eat, preferably, the food that doesn't have a label on it. Or, if, you know, like when I tell people, when you go to the grocery store and you're in the produce section and you see those shiny apples or those shiny artichokes or green bell peppers, do you notice there's no label on it? It's just those cheap teardown bags that I always rip when I'm pulling it from it, right? Mm -hmm. Stay away out of the inside aisle. They call that the dead food aisle. And I, I hate to say this, but I've been told it's called the cardiac arrest aisle. Don't eat the dead food, you guys. Mm -hmm. Eat the food that God made. You know, he made fish, he made chicken. That's fabulous. Yeah. Well, now it's time for a commercial break, and we will be right back.
Ready to flutter into history? Join us at the Grand Butterfly Gathering on June 29, 2024 at Davy Jackson Field in Jackson, Wyoming, or virtually from anywhere in the world. Join us to break the Guinness World Records title for the largest gathering of people dressed as butterflies. Sign up now at www.butterflymarch.com to participate in this enchanting event. You know, for the past 53 years, I have been immeasurably blessed to make my full-time living as both an actor and a speaker, either on stage somewhere or standing in front of a camera. I wanted to take a moment today to tell you how excited I am to be coming to San Diego, California this fall to teach you how to become a professional speaker. I will be teaming up with the multi-talented Marie Waite, and together we will help you design the most compelling, passionate, and energized version of you you have ever known. This will equip you with a newfound sense of confidence and the exuberance that it takes to get out there on stage and change lives. The dates are October the 17th through the 20th. I look forward to seeing you there. The worst thing a homeowner can do is be without a good set of tools. Don't find yourself caught without the right tools. The Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag ensures you're equipped for any DIY task. With high quality essentials like a hammer, measuring tape, multi-tool, and exact tech picture hanging tool housed in a sturdy bag, you'll be ready for anything. It's not a good feeling when you have to stop right in the middle of a project because you didn't have that tool that you should have had in the first place. Introducing the Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag from Caliber 8. This ultimate all-around-the-house tool bag includes essentials like a non-slip grip 16-ounce claw hammer with a nail starter, which is perfect for keeping your fingers safe from getting smashed, a durable 16-foot measuring tape, which is a must in any toolkit, the Caliber 8 Multimax Pocket Tool, which features a 6-inch locking-style adjustable pocket wrench, 5-position wrench, two Phillips and one flathead screwdriver, a durable stainless steel pocket knife, can and bottle opener, saw blade, and LED flashlight so you don't have to get caught in the dark. A compact toolkit, small enough to fit in your glove compartment or your kitchen drawer. With a utility knife, two Phillips and flathead precision screwdrivers, a mini socket set, a box of wood and machine screws, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and a driver set with flathead Phillips and Torx style bits and the exact tag picture hanging tool which makes picture hanging easy with no measuring required or stray holes to deal with. With everything you need conveniently packed in one sturdy bag you'll be ready for any DIY task. Call area code 619-453-4664 or visit realmenofrealestate.com. The first 10 shoppers get a 10% discount with promo code TOOLS. That's T-O-O-L-S. Unlock the power within you with Who Do You Think You Are? Delve into the art of personal branding and craft a legacy that leaves an indelible mark on the world. Learn from real-life experiences and actionable insights, empowering you to become a leader in your field. Get your copy now and embark on the journey to unleash your true potential. Now available on Amazon. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, I'm Teresa Lawrence. We are here with Nancy Wright. And when we left off, we were discussing going into a grocery store and focusing on buying foods that God made, not that man made. Mm -hmm. And I want to expand on that because mm -hmm. sugar is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people try to avoid it, and it seems like there are all these mystery things mm. in reading about it. What are some quick tips that you can tell us? Well, I, I, yeah, I have also a great story for you, and that's a tip. Is that a cool? Yeah, that's all right. right. So <laughs> Starbucks is everywhere, and my daughter loves Starbucks. And so I'm going to focus a little bit on misleading claims, because they'll say there's no sugar, or they'll say sugar-free. 
but is it really? So I'm a little neurotic. And so when I went through the drive-thru of Starbucks getting my daughter, because I, I have to pick my battles with her, <laughs> I, it, it, she said, but mom, it's sugar-free Starbucks. Okay, so I know in my heart that's not sugar-free. So I asked the nice little barista, can I take a look at that bottle? <laughs> and I flipped it over, and the first ingredient was water. And then there were, they had some other things in there. But what I, I hooked onto was artificial flavors. And natural flavors, because there's a lot of label loopholes, and the FDA doesn't regulate what's in the country, what's in the United so, States. So you found natural flavors. Natural flavors, and I found maltodex, maltodextrin. See, it's hard to pronounce. I always say, if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body. Maltodextrin, which is a sugar substitute. So it, people don't. So it's sugar. And when I tasted it, it tasted so incredibly sweet. So I'm like, wow, they have everybody trained here thinking it's sugar-free when it's not. They can just disguise it. And so the front of the packaging is always marketing. That's the lie. The truth is always on the back. And there was maltodextrin and natural flavors, which I know, you know what the heck is that, right? Who knows what, what that is? What, so are they the other, what are the other names of sugar? That, um, that people should look for here's, on the label. Here's a good one. I just talked about this yesterday. Everyone's familiar with log cabin corn syrup, log cabin syrup. Yes, of course. Yes. Right. Okay. So on the front, there's a yellow label on it that says no high fructose corn syrup. But if you flip it over, the first ingredient is corn syrup. So to answer your question, Teresa, corn syrup is one. There's 250 different names. Corn syrup, molasses, agave syrup. Even molasses? Rice syrup. Mm -hmm. It's all forms of sugar. Yeah, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of it. So corn syrup was the first ingredient. And then there were other words, sodium hexamesophate. See, I can't pronounce mm. it. So I tell people, if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body. Why not just get Kirkland maple syrup? See, maple syrup came from a tree that God made. So it's really simple. Just go for the foods that God made, not that man made, or go for the foods that grew on a plant and not in a plant. There you go. Right? Yes. <laughs> so in terms of sugar, if people are trying to cut down on sugar, mm -hmm. Um, I have two per questions here. One, how much sugar do we actually need? And the second one is, if you're cutting down on sugar, what do you recommend we do? Okay, so to answer your first question, which by the way is a great question, for women and men it's different. We shouldn't have, women, we shouldn't have more than six teaspoons of sugar. Now how do you know that? This is where it gets tricky because the food manufacturers put things in our food and they want us to be confused. When you look at the label of something, it's not gonna say teaspoons, it's gonna say grams. So take a look at the grams. For example, Gatorade or like a Red Bull or whatever those energy drinks are called, very high, Power Powerade I think, very high in sugar. If it's 27%, you divide it by four. So what's 27 divided by four? Eight or seven? That's seven teaspoons of sugar in one serving. Women shouldn't have more than six teaspoons of sugar. Men shouldn't have more than 10. It's really nine and a half. That's how much sugar we're having. And we wonder why they're calling this epidemic diabetes. And they're seeing it in young kids because they're especially being preyed on by two big companies. So, wow. yeah. Oh, and... Shocker. So the next part was, how do you... If you're trying to reduce sugar, right? what do you do? What do you do? When I coach people, I'm thinking of this one gal in particular, the way that I was trained is you really have to meet them where they're at, but liquid sugar, which is the ice cream, which is very hard for people, ice cream or juices like those acai berries, mm -hmm. liquid sugar is the first thing we try to get them to throttle back on. It would be liquid sugar. So that's what we try to do. And I give them substitutes. So can I tell you my example of ice cream? Yes, of course. Okay. So if you get Tillamook or Breyers or Dryers ice cream, I think it's now like $6. It's very, very expensive. And you're going to see probably cream and then liquid sugar and milk fat. You're going to see sugar in the first three ingredients. By the way, a good rule of thumb is first in is most in. So if sugar or salt is the first three ingredients, just know you're mainly eating sugar and salt. So... I love ice cream too, and it was really hard. But when I throttled back, 32 pounds came off. So that were <laughs> that's exactly where I was going. I was going. Yeah, that, yeah. I, that was my next question. Yeah, yeah. Part of your bio says when food sensitivities and weight gain. That's right. Ella had her napping to, at two in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. You became the sugar busting fairy. Right. So right. When yeah. did 
When did that happen in your life? I was, it was really around COVID, honestly, and that, and that was hard to do. But because I had, you know, I had bad bugs, I won't get too graphic, but dysbiosis. So it just means gut imbalance. And, you know, your gut is your second brain. And so then that led to anxiety and everything else and brain fog. So I've cut out gluten. And I, I still eat sugar, but the healthy sugars, you know, the fruit sugars and that kind of thing. I just felt better, and I wasn't napping at 2 in the afternoon, but sugar makes us fat. So when you cut out the sugar, you can lose a lot of weight. Basically, I had to break up with Mr. Ben and Jerry. That's what I say. You know, <laughs> chunky monkey, and that was hard, and the chocolate. So I broke up with Ben and Jerry, and I started dating Mr. Nice Cream, which I make every day in my food processor. Or you can what do does it. that mean? Be I Mr. know. Nice Cream. I know. I talk about that all the time. If you have a high-speed blender or a Cuisinart food processor, put your fra favorite frozen fruit in there. For me, it's bananas. So I do frozen bananas, and it's just one or two ingredients. I kid you not. So not only is it one or two ingredients, it's a lot healthier. These are words I can pronounce. I would say 10 or less is best. It's also saving me a fortune, and I'm not buying that super expensive ice cream, right? So your favorite fruit. If you have high blood sugar, and you have to watch your sugar berries, because berries are low in the sugar. So berries and a little coconut milk, and that's all I need. Well, no, sometimes I put chocolate chips on it. So banana and ice cream is whatever you want it to be. Just Google it. It's just probably two or three of your favorite ingredients. <laughs> I, I, love, I love the smoothie aspect of that all, mm -hmm. the healthy smoothie in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So when you say you help middle-aged women mm -hmm. with type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. re reduce their blood sugar, mm -hmm. you're basically going off of your own experience mm -hmm. and your coaching skills mm -hmm. and can you give me an example of of a client with that that you help through mm -hmm. a process well when we coaching is kind of involved and complex because you know everybody's different and it's definitely not linear it's like you go three steps forward six steps back but what people need to know is i would say what the heck is in our food and we do a pantry makeover. So what that looks oh, that's like, fabulous. I know, and I do it virtually mainly, or I could do it in person, but it's fun to do it virtually. I did it for a pantry um, makeover. I've never pantry heard Pantry makeover, yeah. yeah, or a kitchen clean out. I like mm. pantry makeover. So I was trained by a pediatrician in traffic light eating. How basic is that, right? So green, yellow, and red light foods. So we go into their refrigerator, their freezer, and their pantry. You know, their syrups, their marinades, their ketchup, and after I teach them hidden names of sugar and I do the label reading nutrition guide of what to look for and words you can pronounce and try to keep the sodium and the sugar below 20%, we go through and dissect their food and we go through it, their, their items, their canned soups, you know, whatever's in their items, or they'll take three or five of their favorite items like ketchup. And I also talk about in my label reading the three no's and the three no's is no high fructose corn syrup. And that has been known, that's the leading, co the leading culprit for obesity. It spikes your blood sugar. It's worse than table sugar, they're saying, because it leads to obesity, which can lead to diabetes, diabetes. So no high fructose corn syrup, no trans fat, which is in, that's hydrogenated oil. That's what's in Skippy peanut butter, a lot of peanut butters, except the Kirkland brand at Costco. That's where you want to get your peanut butter. And no artificial colors and dyes. And that's what's in, like, Kellogg's and General Mills, that's what's for kids. You know, they put them in yogurts, you know, the SpongeBob yogurts, the colorful yogurts, the, the waffles, the birthday cake waffles that are so pretty, the mermaid waffles are so pretty, but the first three ingredients are artificial colors and dyes. And can I expand on that a little bit? Of course. What that does for a child especially, because that's who they're targeting it. The dyes. The dyes. Yes, it's yes. called like yellow, red lake, yellow, seven, red, 40, yellow lake. It's also in a lot of energy drinks and sodas and candies and cotton candy. But ADHD is the number one diagnosis that pediatricians see. I think it's one out of six. ADHD is really on the rise. Now, for a kid that can't sit still in a classroom and they're trying to learn, why in the world would you give a kid artificial colors and dyes? And the parents don't know. So it's my mission to get out there and educate mm. these parents and these kids and adults because they don't know. And they'll see it when they walk into Target because those food manufacturer companies are so smart in marketing. They know when the payday is. They know when you walk into Target or Walmart, you're going to turn right. They know to position the, the foods that they want to sell you know, put it on sale so, so we buy it, and we buy it over and over and over. 
And then I have a question about the high fructose corn syrup. Yes. Because it's in everything. It's in everything, especially your ketchup. So for your listeners, mm. they're probably going to go look at their ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a ketchup that yes. doesn't have it? Yes, and I don't think it's Heinz. I don't know off the top of my head, but yes, you're going to pay a little bit more, I think. But yes, there is. And then uh -huh. is there a bread that doesn't have high fructose? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gluten-free, so I use the cooked sourdough bread, which is quite expensive. But what you're going to really see high fructose corn syrup is in candy and sodas. And so, you know, when, back to your question about how do you, what do you do for your clients? And I said liquid we try to get them off, and I mentioned more, I did mention sodas, but I mentioned ice cream. High fructose corn syrup is going to be in sodas, and diet sodas are just as bad. So it's in sodas, it's in candies, it's in the, you know when you buy a cake in the bakery and just flip it over, you're, you know, the beautiful frost, and you're going to see high fructose, in bakery sections, especially. Can, candy, bakery items, cupcakes, that's where you're going to see it. But, but I'm sure that there are places that that have cupcakes and all of those things without high fructose. Corn you just syrup. have to go look. <laughs> probably. No, I think that I think or, that that market is is going to grow. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I, well, you know, make your own. You know, make your own. Mm -hmm. I, I follow a gal, the Food Babe, online. She's a the food, food Babe. <laughs> the Food Babe. She's a food activist. Her name is Vani Hari. And I think she got like most influential women of the year, but she went after Chick-fil-A and Starbucks and got them to remove a lot of their harmful items. And so I've really learned how to bake my own food. I mean, I have dark chocolate brownie probably sitting in my car right now because I love dark chocolate. I'm like, there's well, three. You, your, your bio does say you, you love <laughs> chocolate. I even have a chocolate Labradoodle. Yeah, That's yeah, how much I love chocolate. Yeah. yeah. So make it yourself, and there's so many good recipes out there. So, Okay, so I'm loving this. Buy food made by God. Mm -hmm. look, look at labels before you, before you buy food, and make sure you can pronounce <laughs> the names That's on the right. label, and if you can't, don't buy it. That's <laughs> right, and, and another tip is 10 or less is, be is good, 5 or less is bad, or just the less, the best. So if you see an item that has 10 ingredients or less, 5, take the one that has 5. You know, if I'm lazy and I don't want to make rice at home, which has no ingredient, Trader Joe's has a packaged rice. It just has one ingredient. That's the one you want. So less is always best because then you know it doesn't have preservatives in it and all that other bad, harmful stuff that you definitely don't want to be putting in your body. Well, thank you so much for all this information. You're welcome. Now it is time for a break. We'll be right back. Ready to flutter into history? Join us at the Grand Butterfly Gathering on June 29, 2024 at Davy Jackson Field in Jackson, Wyoming, or virtually from anywhere in the world. Join us to break the Guinness World Records title for the largest gathering of people dressed as butterflies. Sign up now at www.butterflymarch.com to participate in this enchanting event. You know, for the past 53 years, I have been immeasurably blessed to make my full-time living as both an actor and a speaker, either on stage somewhere or standing in front of a camera. I wanted to take a moment today to tell you how excited I am to be coming to San Diego, California this fall to teach you how to become a professional speaker. I will be teaming up with the multi-talented Marie Waite, and together we will help you design the most compelling, passionate, and energized version of you you have ever known. This will equip you with a newfound sense of confidence and the exuberance that it takes to get out there on stage and change lives. The dates are October the 17th through the 20th. I look forward to seeing you there. The worst thing a homeowner can do is be without a good set of tools. Don't find yourself caught without the right tools. The Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag ensures you're equipped for any DIY task. With high quality essentials like a hammer, measuring tape, multi-tool, and exact tack picture hanging tool housed in a sturdy bag, you'll be ready for anything. It's not a good feeling when you have to stop right in the middle of a project because you didn't have that tool that you should have had in the first place. Introducing the Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag from Caliber 8. This ultimate, all-around-the-house tool bag includes essentials like a non-slip grip 16-ounce claw hammer with a nail starter, 
which is perfect for keeping your fingers safe from getting smashed. A durable 16 foot measuring tape, which is a must in any toolkit. The Caliber 8 Multimax Pocket Tool, which features a 6 inch locking style adjustable pocket wrench, 5 position wrench, 2 Phillips, and 1 flathead screwdriver, a durable stainless steel pocket knife, can and bottle opener, saw blade, and LED flashlight so you don't have to get caught in the dark. A compact toolkit, small enough to fit in your glove compartment or your kitchen drawer. With a utility knife, two Phillips and flathead precision screwdrivers, a mini socket set, a box of wood and machine screws, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and a driver set with flathead Phillips and Torx style bits, and the Xactac picture hanging tool, which makes picture hanging easy with no measuring required or stray holes to deal with. With everything you need conveniently packed in one sturdy bag, you'll be ready for any DIY task. Call area code 619-453-4664 or visit realmenofrealestate.com. The first 10 shoppers get a 10% discount with promo code TOOLS. That's T-O-O-L-S. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence, and today we are privileged to have Nancy Wright with us talking about healthy eating habits and especially sugar. I'm going to go back to high fructose corn syrup and the list of sugar names on, on labels, and I understand that you have some guidance and some help mm -hmm. that you can provide the audience mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. um, if you could... The hidden names of sugar, yeah. yeah. So if your audience goes to my Instagram page or handle, it's Nancy the Health Coach. So it looks like me, the brunette with purple background. And if they just DM me the word fabulous lifestyle, I will send them the hidden names of sugar. It's a terrific PDF. And also the food additive handout. Um, it's really good. It talks about food additives that are in our food and, and the causes. Like some people have migraines. Some people have asthma, allergies. It's a fabulous sheet, and I really want to provide that for your audience. So again, go to the IG handle, Instagram handle, Nancy the Health Coach, N-A-N-C-Y-T-H-E-H-E-A-L-T-H-C-O-A-C-H, -E -E Nancy the Health Coach, text or DM Fabulous Lifestyle, and I will provide those handouts, the hidden names of sugar and the food additive handout. Oh, thank you so much. So useful. And now we're going to go back in time. Mm. We're going to ask you about your young self. Oh. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so well, good. If, if you were looking at yourself from above mm. and you wanted to give yourself advice mm -hmm. as going through the process of life, what would you say to your younger self? I would say don't drink soda, Nancy. I drank I'm embarrassed to say this, a lot of soda my parents didn't know because I grew up riding horses and there was a vending machine at the barn. <laughs> so I would take change and buy Mountain Dew. I was so hooked on Mountain Dew. Now, keep in mind, I'm 10 or 12. I have no idea, but I was probably having the greatest time of my <laughs> life riding my pony. I would not drink sodas and I drank about three of them a day and I wondered why I have a mouthful of cavities. And you know, when you drink a lot of sugar too, it can really wreak havoc on your gut. And it was like a snowball effect happened to me. Now I'm approaching late fifties and over time, you know, your teens and what you put in your body day after day, believe me, it, it adds up. It catches up to you. So I would tell my younger self, no sodas, no diet sodas. I totally agree with you. Now I have to share with you. So I'm in college, and tab was very popular mm -hmm. then. And I would sit, and I would, and I would do my papers, and I would drink tab. And one day, like, the taste was just horrible. Mm -hmm. And my body was telling me I was poisoning my body. Mm -hmm. So I stopped drinking soda. And mm -hmm. I never touched soda mm. for the rest of my life. And in my house, we had soda because my husband and my son like soda, but my husband too with the Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. um, and then the same thing happened to him. He was like, I, I, I can't drink this anymore. Mm -hmm. And we took it out of our house. And just we realized the health benefits of doing that. Now, don't mm. get me wrong, if you love soda, you know, it's a personal choice what you do with, mm -hmm. your, with your drinking habits. But for me, 
soda, except for Pellegrino, for seltzer, I'm all mm -hmm. up for that, people. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't think it's very helpful to the body. Um, and I think if you are fortunate enough to have a body that tells you when something mm -hmm. is hurting you, mm -hmm. you should listen. That's right. And that's interesting that happened to you because when I was drinking diet soda, my stomach hurt so bad. And it was in the 20s and I never touched it again. Oh, but that's what I wanted to mention with you. You were talking about, you know, Mountain Dew and sugars, but that's regular soda. The diet soda does the same thing. It's just, yeah, I, I believe, I'm trying to recall, I think it was the diet soda. And the diet soda has aspartame in it. Or most, most of it. And that's a chemical additive that is so terrible for your brain. So, you know, where, where I was trained, if you were to walk into Dr. Sears' practice in San Clemente, Orange County, that's Southern California, he has soda bottles, and I believe diet soda bottles, with a wrapper around it that calls it diabetes in a bottle. Because he's trying Ooh, to shock his good patients. Marketing. Good, right? marketing. And, uh, good marketing. Isn't that a shocker, <laughs> right? So I thought, oh, that's good. Yeah. So when you work with with clients who have diabetes, mm -hmm. do you usually find that they have that they drink a lot of soda? I mean, is that like oh, part it of the depends. Process? It, it depends. You know, we're all different. I would say ice cream's probably the hardest. I'm trying to think of the last gal that I coached. It was. It, it, it usually is liquid and, and ice cream. Ice cream is is the hardest for most, I would say. And that's liquid sugar, you know. That is liquid sugar, yeah. So what we do is we just try to get them to not quit at cold turkey, but just try to, you know, it's, it's little wins along the way that, that can change your palate, honestly. So if they just stop eating it and they find a replacement or they exercise, or they do something else with their time, and they start to feel better, they'll quit it, they'll quit it. You know, when I, I never thought in a million years I could give up Ben and Jerry's, but now if I taste it, I don't like it, because your palate changes, and it's too sweet. It's like, oh, this is awful. So I wanna ask you this question about alcohol, alcohol and diabetes, and I'm bringing this up because this entire year I've been leaning into fear, I've been leaning into public speaking, and I didn't want anything to get in the way of me facing that fear. Mm. So, because, you know, before I'd just have a glass of wine and I'd become very social. And <laughs> my goal is to get on stage and basically be able to deal with any situation mm. without anything helping me or... Mm -hmm. And so, with diabetes and the sugar issue, mm -hmm. What is the relationship with alcohol? Because people like to drink. This is right. a really important question. <laughs> right, and alcohol does. I don't know a whole lot, you know, because mm. I'm not a nutritionist, mm. but I know that, you know, alcohol does have sugar, and that could be hard. There's actually coaches that coach people on quitting alcohol. That wouldn't really be my lane. No, no, I'm not talking about quitting it. I'm just yeah. talking about clients when they, when they say... What about alcohol? Yes, with the uh -huh. sugar. So it does have a lot of sugar in it. it, it I, from what I understand, I believe it's, I'm not sure if it's red wine or, or wine, I believe, has a lot of alcohol. I'd have to look and, okay. and see. I, I don't drink. I don't drink. I do drink a little bit of red wine, but I do know it has sugar. I haven't really done a late, let's just say I haven't done label reading on alcohol, okay. but I do know that it, that it does have sugar. And I think beer you have to stay away from too, but I, I don't know too much about that. So... Oh, okay. Yes, I don't know too much. It's just the little baby steps of throttling back is what helps, is and what then, I would tell you. With your clients, are there common mistakes that you see people mm -hmm. doing? Yes, and one, I, I probably jumped the gun, one is the Starbucks. Oh, but Nancy, it's sugar-free. I'm like, but is it sugar-free? No, that's... No, that's not sugar free. If that's not Nancy approved, if if they were to put that in a <laughs> Nancy lab, approved. if they were to put that in a lab, they would pro and I were to pull up their sugar packets, it would probably be twenty five. That's how full they have them. But the biggest mistake I see is, and this is what the food companies do a great job on, is marketing misleading claims. Let me give an example. A very popular cereal is Cheerios. Cheerios has a yellow banner across it that says cholesterol lowering. It has a red cereal bowl in the shape of a heart. You know, it's touting itself as heart healthy, but is it? <laughs> because if you look at it, it's, we always say it's sugar, sugar, and added sugar and stuff. So that's what I mean, misleading claims. Here's another one, Trader Joe's makes a meringue cookie. And I was with my mother and I saw, oh, fat free. And I love meringue cookies. It was around the holidays, you know? And I'm like, oh, fat free. I turn over the back of it, because I know better, and sugar's the first ingredient. Now, what did I say? If it's the first three ingredients, it's mainly sugar and salt. So they take out 
the fat, but they throw in the sugar, and sugar makes us fat. So it's the misleading claims that I see. Those are the mistakes, right? Oh, wow. That's like, Here's another that's really one. really important. It's really important. Mm. Do you want to hear one more? Yes. This please. is my favorite. It's okay. So when you eat a salad, that's green light food, right? It's think traffic light eating. Eat as much green salad as you want, right? Because it's so healthy for you, full of antioxidants. Now you take a Brianna salad dressing, and the red one has a big, fat, juicy graphic a picture of a strawberry. It's a beautiful looking strawberry. So you think there's a strawberry in it. But if you look closely on the top, it says there's no real strawberry. It's full of sugar. The first ingredient is sugar. So you're like taking a tablespoon of sugar, which is a red light food, and you're pouring that on a green light food, which is a salad. And it's red because it has red wine vinegar in it. So most of us are in a hurry when we're grocery shopping. I mean, I never read labels before I you know, got into this. So you, you pull it off the shelf because it's so pretty, but really it's full of sugar. So that's misleading. That's misleading. And the third one I see are bagels. Cause, bagels? Uh, one bagel. <laughs> I'm from New York. Bagels. <laughs> I, know, I, I know. I love the New York bagels. One bagel is equal to 11 teaspoons of sugar. So there you go. So you're over your limit already, Teresa. Unless you get like a whole grain bagel. But most of those bagels are refined and they will spike your blood sugar pretty quickly. So be careful of the bagels. Sorry to tell you. It's a, it's, it's a weekend bagel. It's a weekend bagel. bagel. There you go. <laughs> it's a fun bagel to have on the weekends. Yes. <laughs> It's your cheap bagel. <laughs> yes. If you wanted to give our listeners resources in addition to yours, where would you point them to? Oh, if they listen to podcasts, I highly recommend Dr. Mark Hyman, H-Y-M-A-N. Oh, I actually bought his book. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Well, there you go. And his podcast is called Doc Pharmacy, and pharmacy is spelled, so it's D-O-C, pharmacy is spelled F-A-R-M, so think of the farm, A-C-Y. Doc Pharmacy, I love. The other podcast I like is Dishing Up Nutrition. That's a good one. And as far as books, is I love the food babe. I use her cookbooks. And she's the food activist that went after Chick-fil-A and Subway Sandwich. Look her up, the food babe. She's all over the internet. She has books. I'm not sure if she has a podcast. And if they have high blood sugar and they have to watch it or they're on a glucose monitor, then the Glucose Buddy app is a good one to track your blood sugar. It's called the Glucose Buddy. I've never, I don't have prediabetes or diabetes, but I've just heard good things about it. All right, thank you so much. It's perfect timing. It's time for a break. We'll be right back. Ready to flutter into history? Join us at the Grand Butterfly Gathering on June 29, 2024 at Davy Jackson Field in Jackson, Wyoming, or virtually from anywhere in the world. Join us to break the Guinness World Records title for the largest gathering of people dressed as butterflies. Sign up now at www.butterflymarch.com to participate in this enchanting event. You know, for the past 53 years, I have been immeasurably blessed to make my full-time living as both an actor and a speaker, either on stage somewhere or standing in front of a camera. I wanted to take a moment today to tell you how excited I am to be coming to San Diego, California this fall to teach you how to become a professional speaker. I will be teaming up with the multi-talented Marie Waite, and together we will help you design the most compelling, passionate, and energized version of you you have ever known. This will equip you with a newfound sense of confidence and the exuberance that it takes to get out there on stage and change lives. The dates are October the 17th through the 20th. I look forward to seeing you there. The worst thing a homeowner can do is be without a good set of tools. Don't find yourself caught without the right tools. The Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag ensures you're equipped for any DIY task. With high quality essentials like a hammer, measuring tape, multi-tool, and exact tech picture hanging tool housed in a sturdy bag, you'll be ready for anything. It's not a good feeling when you have to stop right in the middle of a project because you didn't have that tool that you should have had in the first place. Introducing the Real Men of Real Estate's Ultimate Utility Bag from Caliber 8. 
This ultimate all around the house tool bag includes essentials like a non-slip grip 16 ounce claw hammer with a nail starter, which is perfect for keeping your fingers safe from getting smashed. A durable 16 foot measuring tape, which is a must in any toolkit. A compact toolkit, small enough to fit in your glove compartment or your kitchen drawer. With a utility knife, two Phillips and flathead precision screwdrivers, a mini socket set, a box of wood and machine screws, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and a driver set with flathead Phillips and Torx style bits. And the Xactac picture hanging tool, which makes picture hanging easy with no measuring required or stray holes to deal with. With everything you need conveniently packed in one sturdy bag, you'll be ready for any DIY task. Call area code 619-453-4664 or visit realmenofrealestate.com. The first 10 shoppers get a 10% discount with promo code TOOLS. That's T-O-O-L-S. Unlock the power within you with Who Do You Think You Are? Delve into the art of personal branding and craft a legacy that leaves an indelible mark on the world. Learn from real life experiences and actionable insights, empowering you to become a leader in your field. Get your copy now and embark on the journey to unleash your true potential. Now available on Amazon. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence. Honored to be here with Nancy Wright, who has been blessing us with food information. And I mean serious food information. All of, all of the names for sugar, the ways we can lower our intake of sugar, how, how much sugar we should have during the day. Um, <laughs> this has been a really informative interview. And I, I wanted to ask you so that our audience knows what you have coming up in the future. I am working with kids and adults on the spectrum. Right now, it's more autism because a lot of those kids and adults, or I should say people, they do have food aversions. You know, they, they have a hard, some of them, not all of them, have a hard time with textures like oranges or, you know, textures or smells or foods touching each other on a plate. So that's what I'm working with. I'm coaching them and working with the parents and taking them on smart shopping trips. So they are informed and they know where the green light foods are, the yellow light foods are, and the red light foods are. So label reading is really a wonderful skill. And the parents are thrilled because I'm teaching the kids and then hopefully it'll pass down and keep teach their grandkids and, and so on and so forth down the generation because there's so much out there that people don't know and I'm so passionate about healthy clean eating and I if I didn't have my own health story I wouldn't know how incredibly harmful these foods what they do to our body when they say food is medicine and you are what you eat what what you eat and what they ate they're, they're not kidding <laughs> If food really is medicine, and you can heal from that if you're eating the right foods and that kind of thing. So working with these kids and also teaching them, currently I'm teaching cooking classes to the young little cuties. They're anywhere from K to middle school. Oh, that's so fun. They're so yeah. cute. They love their pizza. And I did an ice cream with them. I brought in Stater Brothers ice cream with the 10 ingredients. I did a little label reading with them, and then banana and ice cream. And I did a healthier version of Nutella. They wanted Nutella, but Nutella is expensive, and it's full of sugar and palm oil. And how can you make your own? So we, Yes, how can you make your own? We made our own. You know, I love the Cuisinart food processor. I bought hazelnuts, which are kind of expensive, and I boiled them to get the skin off of them. You could Google this, mm -hmm. so I'll keep this short. Mm. And then I roasted them. And I put them in a food processor with, I'm trying to think, what did I put that in with? A little coconut oil, I believe. And there was the hazelnut. And it was so darn good. In fact, last Wednesday, they said, can you come back and make that Nutella, mm -hmm. Nancy? Oh, and also, when I did the ice cream of the banana and ice cream, you know, that's the homemade, healthy stuff. Uh, Nancy approved. <laughs> and then I brought in the Stater, Bro uh, Stater Brothers. Nancy not approved. I said, which one do you like better? Do you know they all pointed to the ice cream? And I said, oh, your parents are going to love me because we just saved them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're healthier, too, for it. So, yeah. so just educating kids and adults that there's healthier options out there. You don't have to buy that processed stuff. And if you do, 
it may not hit you today or tomorrow or next year, but down the road as we age, it can catch up with you. And then I'm gonna ask you again to share how they can get the resource that you mentioned in the earlier section about the, the list of sugars. Right, yeah. So they can do two things. They can email me at nancythehealthcoach at gmail.com and that's N-A-N-C-Y-T-H-E-H-E-A-L-T-H at oh, healthcoach, C-O-A-C-H at gmail.com. So that's nancythehealthcoach at gmail.com. They can email me. And they can also go, Teresa, to my Instagram handle, nancythehealthcoach. Do you want me to spell that again? N yes. N-A-N, so it's N-A-N-C-Y-T-H-E-H-E-A-L-T-H-C-O-A-C-H at gmail, G-M-A-I-L.com. <laughs> And if they just DM me Fabulous Lifestyle, I will send them the hidden names of sugar. And I also actually have a lower sugar food swap. It's a grocery list. It's called the Lower Sugar Food Swap Grocery List. And the second one is the food additive handout. Because there's a lot of additives in, in our food that's making us sick. Some people have migraines and allergies and asthma and that kind of thing. So there's, there's more where this comes from. But I know we're talking a lot about sugar because I am the sugar-busting fairy. <laughs> well, sugar-busting fairy, it has been an honor and a pleasure to have you on the Fabulous Lifestyle radio show. And I encourage the audience to take, advance, to take advantage of Nancy's resources. Food really is medicine, and really our, our bodies are just here for us to enjoy life. And health is one of the things we need. It's just basic. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. And I look forward to learning more about Nancy the Health Coach oh, in I the future. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence. I am an author, an international speaker, and a coach. You can learn more about me on my website, mteresalawrence.com, M. T-E-R-E-S-A-L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E dot -E -E com. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to watch this show again on demand, it is available on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and the Android app. And remember, you can subscribe to Building Solid Foundations channel. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Building Solid Foundation. Miss something today, yesterday, last week? Check out our podcasts at www.kca.com.